Suji this time for Ukrainian Relief Project is really working with the uh, mainstream partners like UNICEF, like Red Cross, like Israel. Uh, the whole situation is so challenged. They're not just one agency can do it. It have to be a collaboration and partnership together. So um, a lot of area already identified they're going to face the food shortage, especially our partners. Uh, we stopped at one of the big shopping centers, it's called Macro, uh, where we bought a sample of food for Red Cross here. So we are hoping to provide food on a bi-weekly basis to Red Cross so that they can provide it to the, to the refugees. And where we are now is one of the big hubs for refugees from Ukraine coming into, into Poland. So this is one of the first places that we will come. So people can take a little bit of a break and think about where they want to go next. It's amazing. We are planning to accept about 40 people because of the renovation works. Then it turned out that we had to add more and more people. We had to do everything to host more people. We had to do everything to host more people. That's a retreat area, and because of the current situation, more migrants coming in, they are lacking of housing space. So they use that location to housing the new immigrants coming in to provide a safe space for them to cry or to talk about. That's what Siji can do. The one behind me currently have close to 500 um, family members inside the building. A lot of uh, women bring their children into this kind of uh, environment. And the children, we strongly uh, recommend that they need to go to school. Maybe some kind of hands-on DIY sculptors to help them to do something to distract them or to put them into more focus to learn. I'm here since the beginning of March, so it's almost three months. It's very hard to start from the scratch, living your life in your country, because I don't know if I have now my house or not, and when we can come back. Very grateful that there are such people like this, and maybe one day I'll, I'll be able to have help by my own. food is getting lesser and lesser, the support is getting limited. It's a very challenging situation, so uh, we are very grateful to understand what is their major needs and what is city can do and what kind of challenges they currently faced.